Coming up on this week's episode of Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast, I get my foot stuck in an ambulance, you get your ambulance stuck in your foot, and we cry together, all in this week's episode of... Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast! My name is Kai. And my name is Jim. Oh. Hello, Jackie. Hello. <laughs> you know what? I've been re-watching that again. Um, again? Yeah, on and off. Um, you just finished it. Uh, you, know, you know what? You say you just finished it. That was a month and a half ago. Really? Oh, that. wow. Yeah. So I felt like it was only the other week. Yeah, I know. It does, doesn't it? Show yeah. you how quickly these last, like, two and a half months have gone, doesn't it? Mm. Oh my goodness, time just absolutely flies. Do you know what? Talking of time flying, the other day I realised it's been seven years since the first Minecraft server I played on shut down. Really? Seven years. And I was like, seven no. Seven years? Because I joined it in like 2011. That's more than six. It is more than six. <laughs> and it shut down mid-2014. And 2014 was seven years ago. Oh my god. I hate that. I hate time. Why does time go That's so quick? That's how old Kiki is, you know. No way. Yeah, she's. She, I got her in uh, 2013, I think. So the Minecraft server died birthday? and she came to life? Uh, no, I got, her, I got her in 2013, so she came to life before that. I, th- I okay, think it was so 2013. She, so she's not the reincarnation of a Minecraft server then? No, no, no. Okay. As far as I, don't, I don't think so, at least. I, uh, I'm going to do a quick like scroll back on my Instagram to like check whilst you... Uh, <laughs> Talk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could say the word obsidian, she might recognise it. Obsidian? Did she look? Uh, I think she's outside. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so, so she's definitely not on obsidian server. in my room. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Coda comes in, we're like, oh no! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up oh, to this so week, good. Kai? Uh, you know what? Not too. This is like the latest we've recorded one of these episodes in ages, isn't it? It's a Tuesday, it's going out tomorrow. It is. It is and what's the what's the reason for that? You were busy at the weekend, I think. I no, I was not. I made no, you sure wanted, you wanted some time off. Yeah, over the whole weekend, I made sure I did sweet fa, and yep. the only thing I did over the weekend was I streamed for an hour and twenty minutes because yep. I felt bad for not uploading a video. I was like, <laughs> I know I want to upload a video. I want to make sure that I have weekly content, but at the same time, I don't want to rush together something last minute, and I genuinely wanted to relax. So of my course. compromise was. To satisfy myself, um, to make sure that I don't have the um, guilt of not uploading, I will um, I will have a conversation. I'll just have a live stream chat on YouTube. And uh, do you know what? It was actually really, really nice. I'd love to do it again. Yeah? It was literally just a stream where I sat there, just chatted to people, whoever wanted to come in, um, and we just talk about whatever's going on. Um, mm. So one of the conversations was like people were really desperate for me to record um, a video of me just eating cereal and stuck it and stick, stick it on the YouTube channel because I joked about it on Friday and um, right. I was like okay yeah I'll totally do it because the vote was like 14 to 2 on in, uh, to yes in terms of doing it um, so I was like yeah I'll totally do it and then I just didn't but now people are like yeah, actually we want to do it so I was like okay fine so um, I've got to record me eating cereal at some point this week Nice. Um, kind of there's a couple of other conversations. Uh, well, we could have Coca Pops. Always a good one. We mm. had that on the way to Orlando. We did. Like just before we went to Orlando. A little box of them. Exactly. We cannot go wrong with Coco Pops. Rather have a bowl of milk. <laughs> oh, just milk. Just, just milk, nothing else. God, that is cursed. Well, is You're it? You're not a cat guy. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, so that was one of the conversations. Uh, there's there's a few other just chill ones like what's going on with coronavirus, just like what people are doing in their lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really nice. It was one of those because I I like to interact when we stream anyway. A streaming like for me, the whole point of it is to interact and talk to people, and it's just nice yeah. to hang out. Uh, but it was nice to like make that the sole focus, and that was it. Yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, that that was pretty much what I did on the weekend. But otherwise, no, it was just nice and relaxing. Just in calls, playing games. I was playing Halo. Finished Halo Two. Yay! Um, yeah, it it was nice, no, nice and relaxing. So that's why nice we couldn't record on the weekend. weekend. Yeah, but what that's were good. you doing on the weekend? Uh, what did I do on the weekend? Uh, I don't know. What? <laughs> so I just gone past, and I don't know what I've done. Uh, do I need to go into my YouTube history? I don't to find <laughs> out. I mean, you can if you want to. 
Uh, hold Were on. Were you not with Rosie over the weekend? Um, no, she was. Uh, I think she left on Friday. Cool. So um, I was the reason why we couldn't record on the weekend, and then yesterday. You were the reason why we couldn't record because That's it was my dad's birthday. Yay! Happy Yay! birthday! We went to Hold a on. place called. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we went to a place called uh, Ask. Have you been to Ask before? Ask Italian. I've heard of it. I've never been though. Neither have I. It's um, it's just an Italian restaurant. Um, okay. Very nice. They had good food. And, good. And uh, what food did you have? I had a pizza. Cannot go wrong with a pizza. Exactly, especially when it's made by Italians. <laughs> can you verify that? Did you go into the kitchen oh, and do I, I a can quiz? I definitely verify it. Everyone working there was Italian. Oh, nice. Um, and um, that that was that was really cool. Actually, it was really nice. Um. And obviously, in the UK, you can only eat, or like in England at least, you can only eat outdoors still uh, up until next Monday. Yeah. Um, I know in Scotland, you can eat indoors. Um, they're kind of like slightly ahead of us uh, in that term. But um, it's it was quite nice weather yesterday. It was a bit windy every now and then, but luckily the garden there was quite empty, I suppose. That's good. And that was good. Uh, and then, pff, trying to think of what else I did. Um... What that presents did you get your dad? I got him a Rolling Stones t-shirt. Nice. Um, I also got him a Beatles mug. Nice. A big box of biscuits. Cannot go wrong with biscuits. And I paid for half of the meal yesterday as well. Uh, his partner paid for the other half. Oh, nice. So, yeah, that was that was it. Sounds like you treated um, him nicely. Ah, oh, well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, treat him like shit. We paid he, he for him and then we dumped happy. him in the sea. Oh, he, he made a joke about something. And I said, right, well, we're going to refund this and you can pay for all of it instead. <laughs> um, so that was quite funny. Um, but no, it was, it was a nice little evening. And it's nice that the weather's been like a little bit better the last couple of days. I don't know about where you are, but it's been like 18 oh, degrees here. It's been so weird. It's been, it's been so windy. hit and miss. So, yeah. like, somebody who lives in uh, Bristol at work, um, mm-hmm. they live in, like, South Bristol. Uh, mm-hmm. They, we were on a meeting yesterday, and they said, oh, the weather is so shy today, and it's absolutely pouring down outside. And I was like, are you, are you sure? <laughs> and he said, yeah, like, it's tipping it down right now, and it's probably lighter than it was 10 minutes ago. And I was like, I don't, <laughs> we literally live half an hour drive away from each other, maybe more. Yeah, but you are uh, like, on the West Coast, aren't you, so... That, yeah, that's and, where like you always have issues with weather. Yeah, and it was like it was so sunny. I was like, oh well, uh, it's sunny to the north, it's sunny to the south. Let me just check out the other windows. It's sunny to the east, it's sunny to the west. Uh, yeah, I I don't know where your rain's coming from. And uh, <laughs> now today, to, oh my god, today was the definition of weird. So I woke up sunny. Yeah. Ten o'clock, sunny and rainy at the exact same time. Yeah. Eleven o'clock rain for a bit yep one o'clock or two o'clock rather um because i took beat out briefly um it was sunny then it yep. started raining a little bit then it pissed it down and now it's got dark clouds on one side and light blue skies on the other that that's like cl- classic british weather though you know yeah um, we had that the other day here and otherwise like now though it's been quite nice next um, up a little bit snow windy. probably wouldn't surprise me <laughs> Um, oh, that was another thing we did last week. Um, you went to well, see snow? Whilst Rosie... No, no, no. I saw hail. Oh, God. I love hail. I there miss hail. There was like hail. a massive thunderstorm uh, last week. Oh, um, I love like, storms. All, only whilst I was driving. As soon as I stopped driving, nice sunny sky. And then as soon as I get back in the car to drive again, massive black cloud. Fort Park flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? That that drive probably the worst drive of my life. Oh, definitely. Um, same here. No, 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 not that one. Not that one. The one that I did the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, it started off like nice weather, mm-hmm. and then suddenly I'm like looking in the sky. I'm on the phone to my mum as well during like the journey. Yeah. Um, because I was just driving and uh, I put on my in my AirPods. Yeah. And um, suddenly, like 
I can just see I'm driving towards this massive black cloud. And you know when you like look over at a black cloud and like the sun's beaming through and you can see where it's like raining up ahead or whatever. Yep. And it's got all those lines in the sky. I can see that in the sky and I'm like, well, I'm going to go into that in a second. Fine. <laughs> um, and then like out of nowhere, like it all smacks down to the windscreen, lightning everywhere. And I'm like, oh, oh my, my God. God, it's a fun journey, that part there. And every all the cars are slowing down or whatever else. I worked out my window wipers can go slightly faster as well. Um, Did you not know that? Well, like there's one of the settings. There's like really a turbo stiff. mode. No, no, no. Like there's there's a setting on mine that's really stiff to get to like the oh. maximum one. So I've always thought it could only go to like the one before the maximum. Um, oh. And finally, I got it onto the maximum one, and I was like, oh my god. Uh, but then my sat nav decided to say. Um, decides to try and take me a different way to what I usually went um like because I've been where I was going once before um and I wanted my sat nav just to remind me of the way and it took me a completely different way or it tried to so I I turned off to go the way I went last time and it changed the route and it took me down every single country lane possible for 40 minutes or so and like I smacked my car into a big ditch for a second oh Um, no I say a big ditch. It's like a you know, like a uh, pothole. <laughs> yeah. Um, on the side of the road or whatever. Um, uh, there's cars that are still going like sixty miles an hour on the country roads, even though it's mm-hmm. chucking it down and whatever else. It was just an awful journey. Um, but otherwise, it I, I was just, all right. <laughs> <laughs> dear oh dear, sounds like you've been through the wars. But that, that wasn't that wasn't what I was gonna say. That just popped into my head. Go on then. Um. When when Rosie was here the other day, we went for two lovely, lovely walks with Coda, mm-hmm. and it was like so sweet. Um, originally uh, on Thursday mornings, there's like a market here usually, and it goes until about one o'clock, and it wasn't on for some reason, so we ended up just taking Coda on a, like a massive walk, and the weather got really nice while we were walking, um, which was great. And uh, then the next day, the next morning, we took him for another walk for about another an hour or two. And mm-hmm. we took him down to the beach. We took him... Uh, we got him an ice cream. Um, Aww. And he had his ice cream on the beach with us. And he got to see a lot of like other dogs and uh, people. Uh, <laughs> and this little girl came over. And you, we were walking on the beach. And this little girl went, Doggy! And um, <laughs> Coda, being Coda, got very excited. I was like, friend, friend, friend. Aww. And it was like he, like if he stood up on both of his back legs... He would have been taller than her, right? No way. And it was like, we had to like kind of hold him a bit. Because uh, otherwise he probably would have jumped into her and knocked her over. That's adorable though. <laughs> it is, but you know, maybe not so much for the parents that might show no. us for a second. <laughs> um, but then oh. like we gave him a little treat. He calmed down for a second. She got to stroke him. So that was really sweet. And he had like a lovely walk on that day. Um, and... Uh, we're gonna do the same on the weekend give him like another two hour walk um on both days and it'll be very nice lovely yeah uh that that, that was my story also uh about 10 minutes ago we were talking about kiki's birthday we were she was born in 2014 <gasps> so she could be the reincarnation of a minecraft server do you know the date your minecraft server shut down uh i can find that date give me about 10 seconds okay we'll count 10 Nine, eight, seven. Seventh of November, twenty fourteen. Oh, <laughs> right. So, I uh-huh. got Kiki on the twelfth of November, two thousand fourteen. <sighs> okay. But so that that kind of she... confirms that she's not the direct reincarnation, but that's kind well, of close. funny. She's it's, close. That is very close. And uh, I, I I don't know her exact date of birth, but. To get a cat, they have to be eight weeks old. So I can exactly. estimate it around the seventeenth of September, if it's exactly yep. eight weeks before that. But it'll probably be about the fifteenth of September she was born. Well, I mean, it, it, I can't remember the announcement date, but it could have been announced at around about that time that the server was going to be shutting down. Yeah. So uh, maybe it was announced and then she was born. Maybe. Who knows? We will never know. So Twitter's adding a few new features lately, which is quite nice. We always love new features, don't we? We do. We love features. Unless they're completely unnecessary and break everything. But this one is 
actually not too bad. So this new feature that Twitter's adding is going to be really good for creators. Um, it could be good for non-profits. Non-profits. Uh, it could be good for artists. Me. Just to name a few. Oh, for you as well. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's beneficial for everyone, really. Uh, basically, they're going to be adding a new button to people's profiles, which resembles a tip jar. Huh. So you can tip people from Twitter um, just as like a way of giving them a little extra financial support, which is pretty cool. Yeah. That sounds good. What it does is it directly links with people's Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. I think it even does links to Patreon as well. It's basically like a, if you want to support me, here's where you can button. Yeah. And um, cool. yeah, as part of that, um, you can send money through it. It uh, links directly via Twitter. It's not like it's not like Twitter's rumored subscription feature that they've got coming up because there's rumors that there's going to be like super follows. Um and things like that which can help you on Twitter um, uh -huh. but no this is kind of like their interim at the moment kind of like the first start into providing financial support via Twitter and um, yeah I think it could be a really really good addition yeah sounds cool one of the things that somebody has recently mentioned though is if you don't have your Twitter set up um, appropriately so like if you are not having your tip sent to a business PayPal for example then yeah. there is a risk that you can actually see the post or address of the other person. Right. Um, but at the same time, that is kind of standard PayPal behavior um, because, you know, if you're selling things and you take payments via PayPal, then you do naturally get the postage, a postage address of people via your business account. Yeah. But there's a few people that are like, oh, I didn't realize that, but that's kind of always been the case. Um, but I have a feeling that um, once it's been made more aware that this is just standard procedure anyway, because it happens on eBay, um, yeah. then, yeah, people might be a little bit more accepting of it. But I've, I've, either way, you don't need to use PayPal. You can use things like Cash App, which um, I haven't really properly used before, but I have downloaded it. Um, I've never downloaded it. Is it worth downloading? Hold on. Let me send you a referral because I believe we can mutually benefit from this. <laughs> okay. I like I like money and yes, benefits. <laughs> exactly. I think if you refer someone, um, when you receive your first amount of money, um, we both get um, we both get a little cash incentive as like a little referral bonus. So I'll send you a referral then let's to it. No, do it. I've not used it for anything other than just downloading it and getting my cash tag, um, okay. which is basically like the at of uh, Cash App. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like, imagine an easy way to send people money, it's similar to PayPal um, and similar to just direct bank transfers. But instead you just go into the app, you go, right, I send them this person, 30 quid, send. It will just do it. Let's do it. Yeah, so I'll download it. I'll, um, I'll send you a referral. I think you downloaded it. I have downloaded it. I'm re-downloading oh. it. <laughs> uh, do, I, do I need to download it first then, yes? Uh, I'll send you the referral link and then you can do it through that. I think okay. you need to also input in my cash tag when you download it. But uh, okay. yeah, I'll send you the link. Anyway, that's one of the ways of doing it. I think it could be really beneficial uh, for creators to have that there, but it would also be very interesting to see the uptake. I've only seen it on one profile so far. Sure. So if you want to go and see it for yourself, um, if you go to the Twitter profile, Yasha, uh, spelt Y-A-S-H-A-R, uh, Yasha has it on his profile and you need to go Yasha. via uh, your app on your phone. You can't see it on web. Yasha. That's the only account I'm aware of. What, Yasha? Yeah, Yasha. <laughs> and how do you spell that? Uh, Y-A-S-H-A-R. Y-A... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do it from the phone, yeah? Uh, yeah, from your phone. And Yasha. it's a good thing we're spelling it out a second time because Yasha is the secret word for this week. Whoa! I know. A very, very obscure um, word that you would just not guess. So tweet Why us. Why did Yasha get it? At Stuck in a Podcast. Y A S H A R. Uh, that is the secret word. And I don't know. I think he's a journalist, so he's probably unlocked it via his um, thingamabob. Um, but I've not seen any other profile with it before. Right. Y-A-S-H-A-R. That is the secret word. Tweet us at Stuck in a Podcast. Yasha. The secret word for last week was monkey. Massive shout out to Diamond Hood Gem, to Peter, to Royce, to Tangela. 
Um, all of you got the secret word. GG. Yay! So I've got something exciting coming up this week, Kai. Yeah, what's that, Fraser? <laughs> it's exciting to me uh, anyway. Um, it's uh, I'm receiving my first ever HelloFresh box. Hello? Fresh. Dot com. Com. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Uh, HelloFresh, um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows the service. It's basically a service where you pick out your meals and they'll deliver all the ingredients to your door. That's and, uh, pretty sick. And you cook it. Yeah, and it, it's really, really um, cool looking. The only it's reason a good way to get why. It's cooking as well, isn't it? Oh, for sure, yeah. Like, some of them are easy, some of them are difficult. It says on the recipes, actually, um, what kind of um, difficulty they are. Most of them are yeah. medium. Uh, but, like, some of the rapid ones are, like, easy because you just need to fry up a couple of things and that's it. Yeah. Um, no, the only reason I went into it was because somebody at work actually sent me a link which gave me a free box. The only thing I need to do is pay for delivery. Not bad. Um, because they've been doing it for, like, last five months or something because the car was broke. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they sent me that. Uh, they sent me a link to redeem it. I was like, oh, do you know what? I'll give it a go. Worst comes to worst, I don't cook anything, and I've just paid three pounds. Um, or worst comes to worst, um, I get it sent to me. I cook it. I don't like it. I won't ever do it again. Um, yeah, fair. But I'm kind of looking forward to it because it's going to be something new for me. I'm going to be able to mm-hmm. cook a bunch of new dishes that I've not done before. There's a few that I've obviously have done before, yep. um, but there's others where it's going to be quite new. Um, what, what did you select? So, the ones I selected, the menu for this week, I think it was uh, quite... How, unf- how many recipes are you getting? Because you can choose, is it three, four, five? So, for the free box, it was either for four people, you can get two recipes. For three yeah. people, you can get three recipes. Or, or for two, two you people, can you can get four or five recipes. Okay. What so, I with? selected two people, five recipes. Okay. Because I thought that will maximise the amount of meals I get out of it. Um, and I can share it with people. Because obviously I'm not going to have it by myself. It's two servings per meal. Yeah, um, yeah of But I thought if anybody else wants to try it, they can. But most of them are meaty anyway. My sister's vegan and my mum's a vegetarian. So Tell like... more you, your dad and your brother. Exactly. So it'd only be three of us anyway, giving it a go. Okay, that's all right. Uh, so that's why I thought, yeah, I'll just go with two. And then if they don't want it one day, they don't need to. Two! So I selected, um, the first one is coming, uh, it's spicy Szechuan beef stir fry noodles with peppers and carrots. Very nice. Uh, the second one is speedy, creamy chorizo and sweet corn pasta with spinach. Very nice. Um, the third one, super fast Asian spiced pork noodles with stir fry green pepper. That sounds pretty good. Uh, the fourth one, lentil veggie chili with zesty rice. You do like your chili. I do love my chili. And I thought, I'll go with a veggie one because, uh, do you know, I actually kind of, I like lentils. Uh, my mum and my like sister. Sister and your mum can have it as well, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they they like to make um, this thing called lentil dal and it's so, so, so good. I love it to bits. So I thought, yep. well, I like lentils anyway. All the ingredients are fine. I'm going to go with this. And then, yeah, my mum my and my sister can give it a go if they want to as well. And then the final one, a fragrant chicken curry with zesty rice. So you kind of get the idea that this is yeah. quite a uh, Asian themed week. Yeah. Um, or at least um, that sort of food week. Because um, there's a lot of uh, lot of uh, rice, a lot of noodles, that sort of stuff. But then I, I do have the uh, pasta. So I think I just went in on the wrong week because if I have a look at the menu for next week, um, there's things like pork salad, cottage pie, sausage cheeseburger, uh, oh. skewers, that sort of stuff. Like, there's loads of different um, variety. Refried bre- bean and good. halloumi tacos. That sounds really, really good. Mm. Um, but I've decided, obviously, I can't go... I don't want to go for the other weeks anyway. Um, because, I mean, I'm only paying £3 for a, a week of meals here. This is a bargain. Yeah, yeah that that's, like, easy, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, there's another thing here where I can refer people and you get £20 off your box. That's pretty good because and, well, and the main the selling price twenty nine ninety nine. Well, it's um it's forty pounds, I believe, for the two meals, uh, the five meals to two people. Right. So then you'd get that for two pa- uh, twenty pounds, even. Yeah, pretty much. That, that's pretty good. So it, I reckon it's worth a try. I mean, I can refer you if you want. Yeah, I'll give it a try. I can make a you video. Can give on it a go. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah. Re- I don't know what the cheapest box is actually. Um, but I know that if you go, oh yeah, it is twenty nine ninety nine. You're right. Yeah, if you go for two people for three recipes a week, 
Mm-hmm. Um, it's twenty nine ninety nine, including shipping. So if I sent you a referral, it'll be nine ninety nine for three That's mils. Pretty good. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you people. if you want to give it a go, then uh, yeah, I can give it a go. Okay, hold on a minute. Is it at Outlook dot com? Yes. Okay, there you go. I sent you a referral. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I haven't got it, but I'll, I'll wait for it. It takes about an hour to come through. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, but cool, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, yeah. It's nice to uh, do some new things. It will be nice to uh, cook a few things again. And um, yeah, try some new meals as well. Because uh, while the while the foods are really kind of like playing it safe, I know that I'll most likely like it. It is still trying new recipes. Yeah. So yeah, that's going to be my new things to try over the next week. What that if you could... Sick. If you yes. could pick any new meal to cook, like just if you if you could think like, oh, I want to learn how to make this meal. Maybe you've had it in the past from a restaurant, uh, but you want to know how to make it. If you could pick any new meal to cook, what would you pick? Uh, something that I ate in Turkey, probably, because <laughs> all all of their food is so good in Turkey. Fair enough. I, I don't really know what it would be, but something that I've made in. Turkey. It's quite meaty, isn't it? Yeah, they're they're very meaty country. Yeah, uh, but yeah, one hundred percent something to do with like turkey. Cool, that sounds good. Not like turkey the animal, but turkey like. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn! I thought you were on about actually cooking turkeys <laughs> as they are. No, I I, th- I think that'd be a good. I, I'm excited to hear about your experience with that Fraser. Yeah, sure. I will let you know how it goes. You should uh, you should film yourself doing a little bit like here and there. Oh my and god, if you that can, actually make could it be into a little video. That actually could be a good video. Yeah, Ooh, quite easy. Interesting. And you'll make your three pounds back. Uh, most likely not, but worth a no, shot. No, no, you, you will. Because hey, someone's going to go to your up. cash app and they're going gonna... <laughs> to... Yeah, my cash tag... Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot about the whole cash tag thing. <laughs> it's me downloading <laughs> it and I just completely forgot to uh to do it. Well, yeah, if you want to uh, send me money on cash app, it's pound Fraser J. Wow. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Do you want to talk about your, um, do you want to really quickly talk about your laptop as well? Oh, yeah, uh, my laptop broke. How? (laughs) Oh, it was so stupid. I was doing, um, I was doing updates, uh, to the laptop. I was doing, like, graphics card updates, just Windows updates, because I don't turn it on that much anymore whilst I'm not traveling. Um, Mm -hmm. so I did a graphics card update, and then literally half an hour later, um, I heard, and then I looked over, and the screen was off. I was like, oh, shit. So like overheated or something. I think it overheated. I'm pretty sure it did. Because then I smelt this really horrible burning smell. I was like, yep. fuck, it's dead. It's dead. The entire thing's dead. I'm not getting it back. It's just dead. Um, luckily, about five minutes later, I was able to turn it on. And um, the failure, I, I was able to identify it because, you know, technology. I'm I'm an IT technician. Well, hey. um, the graphics card chip died. Oh. Um, which was the main selling point of my laptop. It's got a 1050 in it. Um, so for that to die, now my laptop is as useless as, um, laptops that have half its price. That sucks. I remember you getting that laptop. Yeah. Because I almost got one too. It's four years oh. ago. Oh, but can we speak about that? Do you remember when, uh, what was it? HP had that error. Can oh, we speak about that? that? Yeah, go on, go Are for it. Are we allowed? Um, so about, well, it's got to be like five years ago now. It was like Skype days. So it's easily like five years ago, right? Something like that, yeah. HP had an error on their website and it marked one of their laptops at, what was it, £2.60 each or £3 each or something Something like that? Something like that, yeah. And it was like a really good laptop. And obviously, us being us, we both bought one. I bought three. (laughs) I think it was like £3.98 instead of £398. That was it. It was something like that. Yeah. And like, you know... For us, where we where we definitely have like a spare ten pounds, twenty pounds left over somewhere, at the time, we buy it, <laughs> and like a couple of days later, we get this email, or like a, maybe a week later, we get this email saying, "Sorry, there has been an error, and we've had to refund you." <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst. Yeah, absolutely no surprise that they refunded us and didn't honor the orders. Uh, but imagine if they went through with that; that would have been hundreds of thousands of pounds lost with the amount of people doing it. Oh, 100%. 100%. I reckon the first couple of people might have got away with it. Maybe, yeah. But, uh, but as it got picked up and more popular. Maybe slightly late into the game. Yeah. 
Uh, but hopefully something like that happens again and you can get a new laptop for three pounds ninety eight. <laughs> Well, hey, I bloody hope so. I've sent off for um, a quote for repair because yep. um, I did a little bit of looking into it myself because I'm confident to take apart a laptop. I've taken yep. apart laptops before, but they were like older ones where I could like easily take things out. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, the um, the chip is soldered onto the motherboard. So unless I manage to source that chip separately, which is near enough impossible, and then I want to solder it onto the motherboard myself, which I'm not confident to do that. Um yep. Yeah, it's not happening. So I need to replace the entire motherboard. And let's put it this way. Faulty secondhand ones, £200. So if you want to cash at me... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I want nah, to cash up. I'm, uh, I'm joking there. Don't cash at me money. Um, but cash at me money? <laughs> yeah, cash at Kai. He's not even on it yet. Hold on. I will make sure he's on it in a bit, though. Yes, please. Oh, going back, finally, going back to the whole topic of doing new things, you are doing something new this week, aren't you? I am, and I still can't say the exact thing I'm doing until next Friday. Go on, spill the beans in a very, very it's, subtle, non-revealing way. It's been in the works since early February, I'd say, when it snowed. Uh -huh. um, I had a phone call with a company, and we spoke about it very, very briefly. I say briefly, we spoke about it for about a half hour, and we spoke over emails for about a week or so um, before that, and then we finally got to a phone call, and we confirmed everything was going to happen, which was really cool, and mm -hmm. as of next week, because uh, now lockdown has been eased so much, I am allowed to go and stay in a hotel, I'm allowed to go to where I'm going to do it, which is in London, uh, in Leicester Square, and uh, it's finally happening. Why? I, I, I hate that I can't say anything else about it, you know? That's all I can really say. I, I, could, is... I could say things about it, but I, I don't want to because it will ruin the surprise. Definitely. No, it is exciting news, and I think that is the best place to leave it at, to be honest. There's no point going any further uh, because it really is exciting. And when you hear about it, uh, like me, you will be proud of Kai. Yeah, thanks, Faiza. Shut up. <laughs> you know you know what I, it kind of makes me think you know when uh, when I had Coda for a week that was a hard secret to keep for a week oh god or yeah five days or whatever it was this, this is bigger than Coda for three months this is way bigger than Coda as well like this is big big this is like life you know well, yeah. I mean Coda's life too but um, this is like this is Kai's life expect. as well as like an addition to his life it is mm. affecting Kai's life. So, anyway, we'll leave it there because we know how much uh, people hate when we're vague. Um, I'll post secrets. That I'll, I like uh, little pictures over the next week of like little secrets. See if it's like noticeable or whatever, but like not reveal it. So stay tuned for that. Good plan. Hey, before we outro as well, we've got a community episode coming next week. Uh, talking That's of true. new things coming up this week, we've got a tweet already out asking for your questions to be sent to us. So tweet us at Stuck in a Podcast with your community episode questions because next week is going to be one of those fun, lovely community episodes. Tweet us at Stuck in a Podcast with your questions. Anyway, thank you all so much for listening to these. Oh, wow, that did not go well, did it? I'm going to keep that in because, you know, <laughs> accept your failures. Thanks so much for listening to this week's episode of. Hey, as mentioned before, follow us on our Twitter at Stuck in the Podcast. Follow us on our personal ones as well at Fraser IRL and at Kai Ross Best. Whilst you're at following things, um, at following things, yep, that makes perfect sense. Uh, follow us right here on Spotify so then you get notified as to when we upload new episodes. We up upload generally every single Wednesday uh, in yes. the evening UK time, in the afternoon American time, probably in the morning Australian time. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, for new episodes. Yeah, yes. it's been a nice, fun episode this week, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, good. I, I think that's generally it. There's nothing else to say. Anything you want to say? Uh, nah, not really. Cool. And until next time, don't forget to not burn your food because that'll be a complete waste of a HelloFresh order, bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs>